So this is my test class, and I've used my daughter Cecilia as a test student. Then you're going to click Join Pixton, and this is a unique code for just your class. You're going to click on it, and it will take you to your Pixton account. And then it's time to start making your avatar. Uh, I'm going to make one that looks like my daughter Cece, but you make one that looks like you. For the first time, let's try to make it as realistic as possible, and then we can change it around. Uh, and expressions, which you can change during the comic, too. This expression will just be for our class picture. Actually, she doesn't like her picture taken, so she will be more like this. Then you can choose an outfit. I'm just going to stick with this one. And she's taller than average. Then you can choose your pose. Again, she's not a fan of her picture taken, so I posed her like this. And then you can download it if you'd like. You, can, you don't have to download it though, you can just click done. And then you can go into class. From here, you could start a new comic, but we're going to log out so that I can show you how to log back in. Once you've created your avatar, you can log in and out and create comics and also update your avatar. I am going to do a very quick tutorial on a few things that you can do while making a comic. You're going to type in the address and you're going to click on four students in class log in and here you're going to sign in with Google. It'll use your Google student ID. Click on your Google student ID. I'm going to use my daughter Cecilia and you can see everybody's photos here in the class photo. Go back to my comics and let's make a comic. I think I'm going to do outdoors in a forest. Hmm. If you see the ones with little paw prints, that means that you can add animal characters. I only see one here, so I think I'll try one more. Nature. <gasps> here's another one with a paw, and here's another one with a paw. I'm going to choose this one. Looks kind of pleasant, doesn't it? Now you're going to add your characters. You can make your own character, starting from scratch. Or you can add from your class, and that'll add yourself, as well as uh, anybody from your class. So I'm going to put myself, and I'm going to add Alice. Looks like we're in the swamps here. And Cece. To make it interesting. And you can go and change all of these clothing options too. The um, options are endless. So here we are in the swamp and none of us look very happy. I am going to show you how to change focus. So these are all the options you can use while telling your story. Here we are in the swamp. I think I am going to start with a what? Uh, a shot that takes place far away so you can see all the characters and I'm gonna add some words so CC is asking um, mom what kind of vacation is this check Puts the speech bubble over her head I can also change her face or facial expressions. All of these options are endless. Uh, she looks pretty disgusted to be in a swamp for her vacation. So maybe like that. And I'm gonna change my, so I'm gonna click on myself and I'm gonna change actions. This happens often, just say continue without saving. It still saves it. I am talking 
And I don't know if you noticed, Misty Palazzo talks with her hands all the time. The brochure made this place. I think Mom got duped. For the next panel, if I wanted to copy this scene, I would just click Add Panel. And it will take away what we're doing, but it'll have the same scene. You control your panels here. You can insert a blank one, copy it, remove them, things like that, or change the scene. I'm going to show you a few more things. Focus. Uh, we all come together, and I am trying to sell the girls on this uh, vacation idea. I can add a caption. <laughs> panel and have changed your facial expressions too hopefully you guys kind of get the point um, there's just so many options characters changing focus the faces are endless so CC is even is, is uh, even more angry so let's go angry and She's got steam coming out of her head. She's like, I don't know why we're missing Animal Crossing for this. And Alice is usually herself, which is kind of worried and concerned. <gasps> oh, the focus. I'm going to zoom out again. They're starting to walk off. So look for a place. And let's add. Let's see what animals are, are available. Is that the owl? Let's do a snake. I can move the character so that the snake is popping out over here at them. I don't see it yet. And I can continue. Move on. So, when you're done, you click done. And you'll see all of your comics stored here. Again, there's a class photo, your comics. You can share your comics in a variety of ways. I'll be able to see your comic, comics and comment on them too. And this is a link. If you wanted to share it in the class discussion with people so other, others can see it, you can do that too. All right, to log out, you log out. Have fun. I can't see what, uh, wait to see what you create.